Hello, and in this video, we're going to look at what to do and how to overcome uh, a problem if you're trying to send out emails using Office 365 and you're getting the error message, wait for it, uh, 550, and then it's 5.7.705, which basically says that access is denied because the tenant has exceeded the threshold. So in this video, we'll go through what's happened and what you can do about it to get email working again to send out. I'm Gavin from Lucid Computer Solutions. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to the video. So, yeah, what we're going to do is um, look at what's happened to get this error message in the first place, the steps you need to take, and then the actual uh, resolution to get yourselves being able to send out email again. So, yeah, the error code that you get is 5505.7.705. It says access is denied and the tenant has exceeded the threshold for sending out email. So what that means in plain English terms, it means something has happened where you've sent out too many emails and therefore you are now blocked from sending out any more emails. This doesn't affect inbound emails. You're more than likely still receiving email, but you're not able to send any out. Now, this um, video is aimed at really Office 365 administrators. Um, most people might be able to um, go through the resolution and um, reach out to Microsoft for help. But yeah, this is really aimed at Office 365 admins. I know many of my videos, it's normally reviews and tips for the for, for anyone really. Um, but this one, yeah, really is for Office 365 admins. Right, anyway, so what's happened to get you to this stage? Well, yeah, you've basically sent out too many emails and the reasons for that could be is that you've got a compromised um, Office 365 account and somebody is using them details to send out email in bulk spam emails more than likely um, so you could well have a compromised email account so what you need to do is do some diagnostics you need to check the outbound email um, log to see what's going on there there's a high probability you might find that somebody within that 365 environment is the culprit you know it's one person it's one account that account if that is the case you need to immediately reset the password to something nice and secure, but also block sign-ins as well after that, because if they are still literally using them details to send out spam emails, by doing that, you'll stop that in its tracks. So you must reset the password to something long and unfriendly and complex, and you must block any sign-ins from that person's account. But the key to this, as I said, is checking the mail log in the first place to see what's going on. Now, if you haven't got a compromised account, it could well be, still check the log, and it could be because, for example, you're trying to do mass emails to thousands and thousands of people, perhaps maybe for legitimate reasons, but that isn't the way to go about things, is sending it through your own Outlook or using your 365 details to do so. That could be for a newsletter, that could be literally you using Outlook to send out a bulk email. You really need to avoid all that stuff. There's proper tools for doing that kind of stuff, proper newsletter tools, proper bulk sending tools, but just doing it through Office 365 is going to cause you problems again and again and again and again. So please don't do that. So that could be the other reason. Um, so yeah, the mail log is the key to all this though, is to see who's doing it. And you've got to stop them, that person in their tracks from doing stuff. And if you think it's something dodgy, as I've already talked about, reset the password and block that account from signing back in until you've resolved the problem. What you should also do as well is, if this is a security-related problem, you should, if you haven't done so already, enable two-factor authentication or multi-factor authentication, whatever you want to call it, to every single person who has a license within Office 365 because that adds that extra layer of protection. And when we get to the resolution here, this is really important that you've turned on 
multi-factor authentication and people have set it up before you do the final steps to get you sending out email again. So yeah, if you've not done so already, enable two-factor authentication, help people get set up with that. So, you know, they use uh, either the Microsoft Authenticator app or they use Authy or something like that to get um, 2FA up and running on their account. So once you've done all those things, um, what you then need to do is basically, there's no, if you want to get this working quickly, you need to contact Microsoft directly. Because Microsoft are the ones who have blocked you, they're the ones who will be able to remove you from being blocked as well. And the best way to do this, the quickest way, don't twiddle your thumbs and sit around and just hope that somebody at Microsoft knows you're blocked and removes you. That could take a very long time. You need to contact them via the Office 365 Admin and Support Center. There's um, the ability in there to contact Microsoft um, you might see it referred to as like kind of raising a support incident or a support ticket with Microsoft. You must do that. So you must explain what's happened. This is why the multi-factor authentication is important. You must explain what's happened. You must explain the actions you've taken, as in if you did have a compromised email account that was sending out mass emails. And, um, you need to say you've identified that, that you reset the password, you've set up multi-factor authentication, and obviously there isn't any more spam currently being attempted to be sent out. You must do all that first and explain that in your contact with Microsoft. You must explain you've taken them steps because if you haven't, they won't unblock you. You must prove you've taken the steps, you've taken these actions and they'll like that and they'll unblock you. So what we found was once you've contacted Microsoft, realistically, in around two to three hours time, you should have a response back from them. And once they've gone through them checks to see that what you've done and the steps you've taken to, to stop the uh, the mass emailing, then they will unblock you. And once they unblock you and they say they're going to do that, it normally takes around an hour or so to actually kick in. And then you'll be able to send out emails again as normal. So in summary, you must take the steps I've mentioned, resetting passwords, blocking sign-ins where needed, um, enabling multi-factor authentication on every single person who has a 365 license, and then contact Microsoft to say what's happened, to say what you've done, and to request that they unblock you and allow you to send out again. That is the simplest and quickest method to overcome. I'm gonna look at my notes. Um, the error message 550, 5.7.705 and it says access denied tenant has exceeded threshold that is what you do to overcome that and get sending out again so hopefully that video has helped you um, please do smash that like button for me it really helps grow the channel doesn't cost you anything feel free to ask me any questions post them in the comment section down below and i will try my best to get back to you um, please do subscribe to the channel and all the links are down below to connect with me on the likes of um, Instagram and LinkedIn and Twitter or X as it's now known. So I'll see you on the next video.